Today's Monday and I am working on my week's meal prep and what I'm gonna do is I'm right in the middle of painting too so I'm gonna just stop this because I bought a brisket and I want to get that on to or in the oven. So Sammy Joe has decided to eat while I do this. <laughs> it's always something. Anyway, so this is for the um, week. So I am working on Tuesday through Friday or Saturday. So every morning I have a smoothie. So I won't show you that. It's a, a full meal and I put all kinds of stuff in it. Um, I probably go overboard, but you know, everything that I put in it is good for you. So I really spend a lot of time making my smoothies. Um, I've been painting this morning and so I'm kind of hot and sweaty. I'm about to go out and finish uh, sanding down the patch job I did in the garage. But for snacks at work, I still work a full-time job right now, and for snacks I have started eating oatmeal. And instead of buying the little oatmeal packages that have cinnamon and all that in it, I just started making my own. So I was going to show you that. I'm going to prep a brisket for the week. I bought a big one. I, um, the store had brisket for $1.47 a pound. I mean, that's the cheapest kind of meat right now I can buy. And it's huge. I'm probably going to cut it in thirds and freeze it. I may have a trip coming up um, in a few weeks. And I have to bring brisket. So, um, of course, they may be tired of brisket by now. But anyway... Um, I digress. So, I was going to show you the... <coughs> She's silly. I'm also going to make a corn chowder. So, let me turn you around here and I'll show you what. Okay, my um, regular camera is dead. It's funny, I turn it on. It says, battery is exhausted. <laughs> it's like, well, I think I'm exhausted. But anyway, um, I'm doing this with my cell phone. So, I'm trying to... I don't really usually use my cell phone so I apologize for the shakiness but I always start out planning my meals for the week um here's some of my stuff that I put in my smoothies and well that's a separate video but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you what I've been doing the last couple of weeks for my morning snack so I don't use a lot of oatmeal okay so what I'm going to do five jars I have an extra are washed so I'm only going to use a little bit about a quarter of a cup of oatmeal these will be all ready for this week then I add a little bit of cinnamon and these are freeze-dried strawberries and they, you can get these online, I can't remember, Augustine Farms or something like that. Uh, I think you can even get them online at Sam's, Amazon. I have some just to show you. These come in a number 10 can. So I had opened those and I also opened these, um, Peach slices. These are freeze dried. And so there are some peaches. So I will. Sammy Joe loves these too. She likes the strawberries and the peaches. This week it's all strawberries. And then for um, a little creamy to the oatmeal, I just add a little bit of this uh, Nestle Nido. It's milk. And so it's like a powdered milk. So I just add a little bit. So when I get to work, I just pour that into a bowl and add water. And I have a good, healthy snack. So my next meal prep is going to be corn chowder. So this corn chowder calls for three cups of milk. And I don't buy milk. I hardly ever use it or drink it, so that's why I keep this around. So I'm just going to 
measure um, this. It says four tablespoons for one cup. One, two. That's why I don't waste milk either. Three, four. Because if I buy it, it's not going to get used or drink. I drink almond milk in my smoothies. So I very rarely use milk for anything. Let me put my oatmeal stuff up. Okay, it calls for a medium onion. So let me get this. And I'm going to cook this on the front burner because of the fan or the exhaust fan. It calls for four slices of bacon. I'm using turkey bacon. It's going to be corn chowder. Okay. Got the turkey bacon sliced up. Okay, the recipe calls for one and a half cups of potatoes, cubed potatoes. That's almost two cups, but I wasn't going to waste the rest of the potato. Um, can of cream stock corn, a can of mushroom soup, and not that red grapefruit. I'll put that in the refrigerator for snack. So, cans are dated 2014. I need to use that up. This is 2016. I think that's probably good enough. Now we just add all the other ingredients. Can of cream style corn. A can of cream of mushroom soup. Potatoes. And the milk. Oh, you just let that simmer until, oh, salt and pepper. What? I can't have salt, pepper. I'm going to throw some garlic in there, too. Can't have enough garlic. Got to have garlic in everything. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on it and let that simmer. Probably an hour or so, just let it cook. This is my next prep. So, I was able to get this on sale for $1.47. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yep, $1.47 a pound. This is almost 12 pounds. So, it was $17.10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in thirds. And I'm going to cook, cook it in uh, three different times. And so, it does have the fat... I'm going to trim some of that off, not all of it, but I am going to trim some of that off and then get that in the oven. And that will give me a good six hour cook on it for about that size today. So I'm going to put it, the one I'm going to cook for myself today, I'm going to put it in this pan and then I'll cut it and freeze it. I also went out to the camper and got this fillet knife. I think it's probably my sharpest knife that I have. So I'm going to use that to, to cut the meat. There we have it. That fillet knife cut it really, really good. So let's just stick this over here in this pan. It's almost. I'm going to just pour the clods over the top. And you can marinate this overnight in the clods and then just put it in the oven the next day. But since I'm behind on my preps, I'm going to just put it in the oven just like that. I'm going to cover it with foil. Okay, got that set on about 300. Let that cook. It is 10 till 12. I'm going to let that cook till probably six. Let it cook about six hours. And then they go into the freezer. Um, I'm going to have this this week. That's a chili. Quinoa chili. I'm going to have that this week too. So I'm going to put one in here and then I'm going to put one in the freezer in the house. That way if one of the 
Fraser decides to go belly up and it lays all the meat. And then this one goes in here. I know I've got to find a place. I've got to clean out this freezer and here I keep putting stuff in it. It is, let's put it up here for now. I told myself this morning it is September is clean out the freezer month. Don't put anything else in it. There I go. Put in stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed my meal prep for the week video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of these, um, give it a thumbs up below and comment. Love to hear from y'all. Thanks. Bye.